Outdoor games are so magical, but only one team was able to use it as momentum yesterday. I'm Katie Caldwell, and here's a look at what's going on around the NHL. Bet the bookies didn't expect the Heritage Classic to go that way. In fact, I can tell you for sure they did not. The Sabres were listed as pretty heavy underdogs, as high as plus 350 with some betting services. But they came out ready to win and got the job done, 5-2 over Toronto. How about Craig Anderson winning his third career Heritage Classic for the Sabres? The 40-year-old is only behind Henrik Lundqvist for most outdoor game wins. Peter Mrazek stopped 33 shots in the Leafs net, but Toronto allowed five goals to yet another team outside the playoffs. You gotta think Kyle Dubas is working those phones looking for for a goaltender ahead of the deadline. But the Leafs aren't the only team struggling to meet expectations. To find another, look no further than Buffalo's last win where they beat the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas isn't only struggling, they're in shambles. The Knights are 4-8-1 since Jack Eichel's return and quickly losing ground in the West wildcard race. Last night they lost again, this time to Columbus, and the Jackets were missing Jake Voracek for the game too. Not all cup contenders had off nights though. You could say it was a statement effort for the Avs against Calgary. A 3-0 shutout win for Colorado, impressive against the Flames who have emerged as the class of the West, but they couldn't have done it without their goalie. 46 saves for the shutout. Have yourself a night, Darcy Kemper. If Kemper provides goaltending like that, expect the Avs to hit many more unders before the season's end. The only game tonight is in Ottawa between the Coyotes and the Sens, and I've got to be honest, I wonder if some bookies are having short-term memory loss. Arizona, they're the underdogs at plus 135, but they've won four of their last five. The Sens were also one of those casualties in an 8-5 loss in Glendale just two Saturdays ago. Ottawa is also coming off an ugly performance against Chicago, a 6-3 loss where the Hawks scored three unanswered goals on two separate occasions in the same game. Honestly, as long as Josh Brown and Nikita Zaitsev are regulars in the lineup, expect the Sands to allow a lot of goals. Take the over and take the Coyotes' money line.